I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a look at the Outdoor Research Helium Adrenaline Day Pack, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. This bag has some quality of life features on it that make hiking a breeze. So I actually took this with me to Denver. Um, I took it on me a couple mile hikes and I just carried around it, it around with me in general and I found it super comfortable. So looking at some of the features on the bag here, um, we have some really water resistant and abrasion resistant materials on here, just kind of across the board, um, like a mini diamond ripstop, 100% um, nylon ripstop, loose and approved materials. There's a PU coating as well. Um, so you can check out all that information on our website. Um, but in in general, we had some pretty gnarly weather on our hike and I didn't have any issues with my gear inside getting wet or anything like that. So that was great. We didn't have like pouring rain or anything, but if you have some inclement weather, you're totally set with this thing. Um, so that was really nice. And it just feels really durable. This outdoor research on the front here is pretty loud. Um, depending on the colorway you have, it's just always there. So, you know, you can't really like ignore it, you look at this and it just kind of looks like a hiking bag, but I don't really mind it. I really like the accents of these like bright lime green sides as well. I think it just kind of has a kind of nice, cool look to it. Um, these compression straps as well also work for, uh, this is designed to hold an ice pick, but I used it to hold some trekking poles um, and it was a little bit loose. Felt like I couldn't really get these quite as tight as I wanted them to be for my poles, uh, but it still held them pretty well. So if you wanted to have that kind of double functionality, that works as well. And then uh, on the top here, we have this little carry handle. It's just a quick little like nylon grab handle. It's a little bit longer, like on the loop side, it, it comes up a little bit high, but I didn't feel like it was rubbing onto my back or, or the back of my neck or anything like that. So it wasn't super in the way, but I found this to be pretty comfortable, a really decent size for, you know, just a sort of day hike. Um, and so we can get into some of the more specifics right now. Across the board, this is a pretty comfortable carry. So we have these like really squishy, you can almost see, I wonder if you can see this, you can sort of see through the mesh and then through the actual padding that's in there. It's just really dynamic, it moves really well with you. And then the same is on this back panel here. There's just a ton of airflow. I found this really, really comfortable, even when I had this fully packed out with a full water bladder, I had it packed out with like all my hiking gear, a bunch of layers, cause it was like fluctuating a ton in terms of temperature. And so I you know, found it pretty comfortable um, to carry. And then we have some attachment loops on the shoulder straps here for your water bladder. We have these pockets, which we'll talk about in a second. And then we have this sternum strap, which is pretty difficult to move, honestly. Like I struggled with this for a good five to 10 minutes and that's not even an exaggeration. It's just really hard to feed through. So this is definitely a set it and forget it. Um, both with that sternum strap and with the straps down here, it actually adjusts in two different positions. Well, I guess technically, it is only one adjustment strap, but it feeds through in this sort of like V shape, which means that you have to, you can't really adjust it quickly on the fly, but it does stay in place really, really well. So I think that's a huge benefit when you're hiking, you don't want to have to be messing with your straps and this wasn't slipping out in any way, shape or form. And then you have a removable hip belt, depending on your needs, you can kind of keep it on or take it off if you want that extra support. The really important thing with this bag when you set it and forget it is that you get these pockets aligned so that they're not rubbing against your arms. So you can see with my arms down now, it's kind of touching them, but it's not like rubbing too much on my arms, especially when I'm moving. I can feel a little bit, but not much. It's just a little bit scratchy. So when I had this adjusted a different way, it fit very similarly on my back, but these straps or these pockets were really touching my biceps and that got pretty irritating. So it's definitely finding the right fit for you. That's gonna be the key. With this hip belt as well, I'm pretty much out of adjustment space here and I have a bit of a smaller waist. And so where this falls, it may or may not be super useful for you. Like I said, it's removable, so you can you know, take it off if it doesn't work for you. Um, but overall, in general, it has a really comfortable like ergonomic fit. It curves really well to my back. I have a shorter torso, I think it's about 16 inches, and it just feels like it fits very nicely. And even if you have a longer torso, you know, it still kind of curves with your back. So over the course of my hike, it was still really comfortable. 
In terms of secondary pockets, we have a couple of different options on the outside here. So I'm gonna start with this front one here. This is pretty much like the outside of the bag. What it has is a hook on the top. This is like a metal hook. Feels very secure and it just has a bunch of little elastic loops that it can hook into. You can see me struggling with it right now and this is something that I ran into. So that was the tightest adjustment. On these adjustments here, it was a little bit easier to get it in and out. I say that right as I struggle. It was a little bit easier to get it in and out. It still felt really secure, but you can see that it's this elastic is starting to lose a little bit of its structure. I'm gonna pull that up a little bit closer for you to see. So you can see like right there and then right over there, you can see where that hook kind of like catches on it every single time. Um, I didn't really feel like these were loosening. I can just see it. I mean, if I've only testing this over the course of two weeks, I can really see that becoming an issue over a, a longer amount of time. So something to keep in mind. This little bit here has a little bit of structure to it. It's like an extra top panel here and that covers this main compartment. And then it leads into this front compartment here. So this is where I stuffed an extra layer. Um, this jacket does pack up into itself, but I found it was almost easier to shove it in there because then I had quick access to it. I wasn't unpacking and repacking the jacket all the time. And then it also gave it more of like a consistent look. So you have a little bit of flexibility there. I did find with this pocket here, you have a lot of space. You can see like the depth of that. Let me see if you can, it's black. So it's a little bit hard to see what's inside, but right now I have this main compartment packed out. You can see that you still have a decent amount of space. Where that comes to be an issue is when you have this packed out with all of your stuff. And then if you take a bunch of stuff out of the main compartment and then try and put things back into the main compartment, it can be a little bit difficult. So I recommend packing the main compartment first and then packing this outside pocket. I also recommend just keeping it pretty basic in this outside pocket here. Like don't load it up with a ton of stuff. Um, there's no internal pockets or anything. So you can't like store little tiny items in there anyway. If you do you definitely recommend a pouch because everything can just fall all over the place. But really great for quick grab items. Like I said, the temperature was fluctuating like crazy at one point I was in tank top and then I needed this like 20 minutes later so kind of depends on where you're hiking and all of that um, additionally on the other side here we have these two pockets on the shoulder strap so one of them is completely zippered and closed here is where I kept quick grab items like I put when I was um, I use this as a carry-on so I actually just put like my wallet in here so it was really quick to access at security checkpoints um, and then I just kept chapstick in here because I use it all the time and then also a little tripod like if you're on a hike and you want to have quick access to that it doesn't fit a phone so I have an iPhone 13 I'm gonna take these items out really quick and then if I try and stick this guy in here it really is just not a smooth fit um, so I mean it technically does fit in there, it won't zip up all the way, but it's not so much a foam pocket as it is a pocket for like a snack or something like that. And then on this side here, this is open at the top. So at one point I stuck the um, top of my hydration pack in here cause I was able to feed it through there and then it wasn't like flipping around all over the place. Even with this um, little elastic there, it was nice to have a little extra security blocking the mouthpiece. And then you could put your phone in here if you want to, but again, it doesn't zip up all the way. So I thought these pockets were super great and functional, especially because this doesn't have any sort of a pocket on you know this side if I wanted to like swing this around to my front sometimes there would be a like some bags have a little tiny pocket on the front but this doesn't have that so these pockets were really nice just for quick grabbing items like I said my chapstick um, if I want to put like sunscreen in there or just snacks you know to kind of stay fueled on the go those are really great options um, so it keeps it pretty minimal but really intentionally functional which I really appreciate about the bag all right, so next up is the main compartment. You got a little preview of how it opens. We have this little cinch closure here. And all you need to do in order to open this, um, this is what's covered by this front flap here. Um, there's a little hypalon loop, makes it nice and easy to grab. But you've got this little clip or buckle, I guess, cinch buckle, and you just open that up, pull, and then you have full access to that main compartment there. So I found that it was pretty easy to get in and out of. You don't need to open it all the way in order to access your gear. Sometimes I'd open it just a little bit, kind of shove my hand in there, fish around, find what I needed, and then pull it out, and then you know I'd be good to go. Um, but I did find that this sometimes times would pull forward and it just made it a little bit hard to kind of see everything that was inside of that main compartment um, and I'll kind of show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about but to start here we've got the hydration bladder which I have the tube just kind of shoved in here right now but you do have two spots to feed it through on either side there's this little hole 
right here. And then you have a, another one on the other side in the same spot. Um, I had it through, fed through those holes initially, and then I felt like it was kind of falling on my shoulder weird. The tube wasn't really like staying on the strap how I wanted it to. So what I ended up doing actually was just feeding it back through and then putting it through this little um, cinch compartment instead, and it worked perfectly fine. It felt like it just, depending on how much stuff I had in the bag, it was like I had to find a spot that fit the tube a little bit better, um, but pretty easy to adjust on the fly. You also have for the hydration bladder, a little clip here, which I don't have clipped currently, um, but that goes right through there and then clips in to hold that in place as you drink so it doesn't slip down to the bottom. I'm gonna pull that out here. That is a three liter and that fit in there great. Um, the more water you have in there, the more it's gonna cut into the capacity of the bag as well. So that's something to keep in mind. This is a 20 liter bag across the board, but when you start to load it up with stuff, it definitely gets a little bit hard for everything to interact properly. So I recommend like putting your hydration pack in first and then loading the rest of the main compartment and then adding things into this front compartment here. Because as you start to, you can see pack out this sort of gear here, it starts to cut into this space and then you might kind of run into issues where you can't really access everything very easily. And so with this here, I just have two packing cubes in here to show you kind of space wise what it fits. You can see that it's just one big empty space, but that flexible material doesn't really have a ton of structure when you're trying to pack this out. Um, there are a couple of times where I like lost gear in there and I just needed to take everything out and like repack it just to find what I needed. So definitely utilize cubes. Um, it's just gonna make it a little bit easier. And then in here we have a pocket as well. It goes about halfway down the bag. That's the end of it, which falls about here. So you have pretty easy access to the gear you need. Um, with this pocket though, the more you have in here, like this packing cube pretty much covers the pocket. So it's a little bit hard to get to that zipper. Sometimes I would just unzip it a little bit and then get to what I needed and then close it back up. It also, you can see with that material being a little bit looser, it's hard to unzip with just one hand. So it was a little bit of like a learning curve, a little bit of practice to get to what I needed in this bag and find a packing strategy that worked for me. And then we also have this key leash here. It's just a little ribbon key leash, just a little clip on the end, a plastic clip um, for you know keys that you don't need really quick access to. If you're on a hike, you're not gonna be going in and out of your car a ton. So that is a really great option as well. And then this back pocket sleeve here that fits the hydration bladder also fits a 13 or fits my 13 inch macbook pro so you can use this for every day if you really want to um, but overall once you figure out your packing strategy this is a really great bag for a hike or just even for every day if you really like the storage and don't mind like these pockets being on the front all the time um, but i found it to be super super comfortable even when this thing was fully loaded out and a bunch of different temperature fluctuations um, i found it really comfortable to carry so there you have it, the Outdoor Research Helium Adrenaline Day Pack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.